Bobby Manning, CLNS Media. Jalen, you, you stressed defense from day one this year. Um, for so much of this series to kind of be individual efforts on defense, switching, you know, guarding your yard, how much does it say about the way you've embraced defense this year, and how has that just kind of developed to this point? Uh, I think I've, I've made that, you know, I made that pledge from beginning of the season, well, before the season even started. Um, I told myself that I wanted to just maximize my defensive potential, and I wanted to make first team all defense going into the season. I mean, that didn't happen, but um, to be able to, to be in these moments and, and show your defensive versatility, I mean, picking guys up, guarding guys in the post, switching on, blocking contested threes, um, it's been big for us. But um, we got a, great, a lot of great defenders on this team. Um, so it's been a full team effort. Um, but that's something I definitely took personal going from last year to this year. Adam, right here in the front. Yeah. You guys obviously played most of these playoffs without KP, but this felt a little bit different because he'd come back, such a big stage and all of that. What kind of you know, discussions did you guys have when you found out he was going to be out? And what was the, <laughs> what was the um, kind of mindset going in without him? And, and what did you think of the way Xavier pitched in? And, and did, did KP um, talk to you guys at all like before or after the game? Uh, no, KP didn't talk to us, but we've been playing all season and all playoffs without KP. So it wasn't any any surprise for anybody. Um, obviously, we love to have KP out there. We, we're, we're different when he is. Um, but X stepped in that role, and I thought he was great. Defensively, I thought he was stellar. And then that big shot he made in the corner, I, I just knew it. I just knew when I drove, they were going to help. And he was going to be open, and I just I trusted it all the way. I just knew it was going in. I don't know how to tell you. It was just like a, a divine experience. I knew X was going to make that shot, and he did. And that was big for us. So I thought X was great. Dave, second row on your left. Jalen, Dave McMahon with ESPN. Eight years in your partnership with Jason Tatum, you're in the fourth quarter with a chance for the first time at, at, as a team, as teammates, I guess, to get three wins in the finals, close to your come to a championship. And a 20 point leads down to one. Is there any sort of unspoken language between the two of you, any shared responsibility that, hey, we got to make some plays here to closest thing out? And, and what is it like to kind of tackle that final stage of the fourth quarter tonight together? Um, I, I thought it was a great team win. Uh, that, that lead dwindled fast. Um, I know we were up 20. And then uh, they stormed back. And that's what the beauty of basketball is. You can never let up. It's, it's, it's always time. And they, they were able to cut the lead. Uh, but in those moments, those are the moments which you, you have to just live for. Um, we've been in those moments a lot. Um, we just needed to be patient, be poised. I felt like we got some good looks. The defensive uh, intensity ramped up. Um, the officiating, you know, got a little bit tighter. So at the end of the day, you just got to make plays. I thought we got some good looks down the line in the fourth. Some went in, some didn't, but we was able to make plays and find a way to win. And uh, we've been in those positions and we've we've lost. So it was great to to overcome that um, with my brother Jason and the rest of our team. That was that was special. On your right, second row. Hey, Jalen, Andrew Callahan from the Boston Herald. Um, Luca has eight points in the fourth quarter of this series. He's shooting twenty percent. We can see that, but what does it feel like guarding him as much as you have when it comes to the fourth quarter? And can you can you sense him wearing down at all? Um, Luca is a great player. I'm gonna start by saying that he uh, he does a lot for their team. Um, offensively, he has the ball in his hands a lot. It's 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 a it's a tough it's a tough lift for him. So, you know, he's been tough. You know, even with that fourth quarter, um, those stats, he's still been able to pretty much get to whatever he wants. Um, so, you know, we just got to continue to be better, um, and that's all I could really say. Tim, standing on your left. Jalen, you mentioned how you guys have been in a lot of spots over the years. Obviously, you go down. Early in the fourth or first quarter, you guys re recover, respond the way you did the end of the first quarter. Fourth, being in the fourth quarter, same thing. They go on that big run, they get back in the game. You're able to respond again. How much of the way you guys responded on the road, like you have so many times over the last couple of years, is because you guys have been in so many of these situations and have sort of experienced just about everything you could have so far? Yeah, sometimes success can be, uh, you know, almost. Uh, not, I wouldn't say a bad thing, but just being able to finish that quarter where we were up 20, you know, started the fourth, you know, they came out 
and uh, made some plays. I checked out around that time, and then um, around that fourth quarter, they just stormed all the way back. But you know, it's like that in basketball, and sometimes when you are winning, comfort kind of sets into your mind. You kind of like relax. Your brain kind of wants to go at ease, and you got to fight that. You got to fight that temptation to fall into that because it's still time left to be played, and the other team is still competing. And uh, I think even though that lead dwindled fast, we found ways and moments to, to overcome it. And that fourth quarter that I was proud of, we made some big time plays. Um, Drew Holiday, D. White, um, JT was physical, aggressive, got to the paint, um, and we was able to finish finish it. Third row on your right. Uh, Jalen, <clears throat> getting heading into that third quarter, just what was your mindset and sense of, uh, you know, what you were trying to do in, the, in your approach? And the second part of my question is um, the embrace with Jason Tatum at the end to be one win away from championship after all the years you guys played together and all that, after you won the Eastern Conference uh, MVP. Just what's that like right now? Or what was that like? Sorry. Um, to answer your first question, I feel like I, in the first half, I feel like we had some good looks, some good reads. I was finding guys getting to the paint, getting open. But on offense, I was a little bit, you know, I was letting them off the hook. You know, I feel like they were letting me kind of just have open looks from three. And I was taking the first one, and I should have been a little bit more patient. I was a little bit more patient in the second half of letting the game kind of come to me a little bit more. Um, but it's awesome. I mean, I can't, I don't even really have words. It kind of doesn't even feel real right now and I'm just trying to stay in the moment like you know it feels it feels great to be up 3-0 in this series but like the job's not done front left Jalen that's um you had seven assists tonight for the second straight game that's first time you've done that in the postseason what's your uh progression been like in that area on this stage and how have you been able to balance it so well with you know also maintaining your aggression scoring yeah, just seeing what the game is is giving me and making the right play. Um, I feel like we got a bunch of great looks. Um, and, uh, good things happen when I get to the paint. You know, sometimes I don't always get the assist. Sometimes it's a hockey assist, but I just like making the defense converge. You know, you got to respect me getting to the basket. And, you know, we got a lot of great shooters. So um, I was committed to that all night. And then the first half, I feel like I could have done it more. I settled for some shots because I had like a big on me and, uh, you know, I needed to get to the paint a little bit more, and I did that in the second half and then in the fourth quarter, and I feel like that's what helped us win. Jared, on your right, third row. Jared Weiss, The Athletic. Uh, Joe, ever since he's gotten here, has tried to kind of reframe the way you guys think about basketball and looking at things as almost like a balance. And uh, he talked today about how sometimes like new ideas, it's hard to accept them at first. So looking at the different ways that he's tried to change the way you guys think about the game, how long did it take for you to kind of understand and embrace them? And how do you see those kind of paying off now? What uh, the coaching staff has been fantastic all season long. I've been saying that throughout the regular season, even before we got to the playoffs, just it's been just super organized. Um, We've walked through all different types of scenarios. We've been like overly prepared and they make sure that we know. Sometimes it's like, you know, you got the coaches, they, they game plan, but they don't always let you know exactly what they're thinking. Like they tell us everything, um, super transparent. And, uh, and we trusted it, we trusted it. And I thought that has been great. Um, so Joe has been a big key, uh, reason to that. And, uh, and he showed himself in his playoffs. He's been um, coaching his ass off. Uh, Vince in the middle, and then Gary, last two. Jalen, Vince Goodwill, Yahoo Sports. <clears throat> you hit the big 20-point third quarter, and then in the fourth, when they came back, you hit the big two jumpers to give you guys some breathing room. When you're in those moments, do you feel like the calm, the maturity, the poise compared to maybe two years ago, three years ago? What has that process of being able to handle those moments been like for you? I think, uh, you know, it definitely has been some growth, but – I think this this team has trusted me, especially in this playoffs, in those moments to just just be who I am, and I, I feel like I've been able to just deliver, um, just by just being patient and being poised. Um, those opportunities have presented themselves, and I've I've been able to take advantage of them. Um, but I give all my credit to my teammates for the trust they had in me, to have a ball in my hands, and to be able to make those plays. Gary in second row, center. Jalen Gary Washington, Boston Globe. Uh, can you take us through uh, two questions? Take us through the dunk at the end of the third quarter. Like, what were you thinking there? And it just seemed like that kind of seized the momentum. 
Uh, just being aggressive, you know, um, running that action with the ball in my hands to finish the third. I wanted to make sure that we got a good quality look. Um, so if they would have overhelped, I would have been ready to kick it out. Um, but I saw, like, I've been making those passes in the first half, and they didn't want to get those threes up. So they kind of were in between. And when I seen that, it was it was lights out. So I just went up and just finished it. And what's the difference between maybe in past years, you guys in the fourth quarter kind of going, uh-oh, here we go again, as opposed to you and Jason going, OK, let's get this. Let's make plays. Let's be the heroes here. I think uh, experience is the best teacher. All year long, we've been hearing about the Celtics of the past. You know, for the last six to eight months, that's all we've been hearing is like we've you know, all the different shortcomings we've had in the past. This is a new team. You know what I mean? We learn from those experiences. And in these moments, you can see that, you know, we didn't run from it. We stepped up to the plate and we found a way to win. Thank you, Jalen. Thanks, everybody.